morning. This was the darkest night ever. My God, it was so dark I couldn't see the hand in front of my eye. Oh, and it was really fresh. And the problem was, ah, in the hammock, you have got the cold air surrounds the entire body. And so you always feel cold at the back. Uh, and uh, this makes it a little bit difficult also for sleeping. Uh, so, yeah, so. But I survived. <coughs> New shoe day. These are the old ones. They are broken now after 3000 kilometers. So it was time to change them because it's not healthy to hike so many kilometers in broken shoes. So I hope they will keep also 3000 kilometers. I was not aware that I would cross the lake with a ferry and I was very surprised when there was all of a sudden a boat and the captain was really nice because he took us with him for free and because that it's a good thing what you are doing and then he told me from his own, own depressions and the depressions of his uncle and I really have to admit that the last days I'm in Austria I, I get a lot of support by the people even on the camping site where the tent broke the next morning the guy said no no it's for free you had got so much drama uh, and he don't want uh, want to have my money and that's really nice thank you so so much and now I'm on my way to the Weissel Wessel am Wolfgangsee I thought I wouldn't see it so here I am
Wie vor den weißen Rössel am Wolf kann sie und muss schon sagen, das ist ganz schön. Doch neige ihr du mal da nett. Und das ist auch ganz nett. <lacht> Weißes Rössel Eiscreme. Oh, it's not going without. It's super nice here and the environment is really amazing and the area is, ama is amazing. And uh, well, we are already looking for a place for our hammock, but it's not that easy. They are all over fields and uh, owned by farmers, and the farmer houses are close by. And if I think about yesterday, the screaming one, um, it would be, or it could end in a deadly experience uh, if I if I just lay down somewhere. So uh, I definitely want to ask the farmer if there is one around, <laughs> and uh, yeah, but I must find a good place. Oh, now I was hiking 1.6 kilometers up the hill to a lake, and all the ground around is private property, and there is at least one house yeah, where the owner is living in, and. The other half, uh, I I can't hike on with my hiking cart. So I'm hiking back one and a half kilometers and hope to find somewhere a nice spot for my animal. Finally, I found a farmer who allowed me to sleep in his meadows, which I will do. And Tyrion already found the right spot. Oh my God, is this nice. They came by and just to bring me some food for the, for the evening and invited me for breakfast tomorrow morning oh that's so so nice i never had that anywhere else thank you so much <laughs>